And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. We have been called according to His purpose. For those God foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed into the likeness of His Son, that He might be the firstborn of many brothers. And those He predestined, He also called. Those He called, He also justified. Those He justified, He also glorified. What shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he, not also, along with him, graciously give us all thanks? Who will bring any charge against those who God has chosen? They God who justified. Who is he that condemned? Christ Jesus who died, more than that who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Shall so separate us from the love of Christ. Shall trouble or hardship or persecution? Or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as not too far. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced I'm neither death nor life. Nor angels nor demons. Neither the present nor the future nor any power, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord.